Hello! In this video, I'm going to be discussing my philosophical breakdown of Parsha Bamidbar. I have a blog, the link is in the bio, and you can find a transcript of this video in that blog. Also, in this week's post, you will find a class video. Um, so I'm going to be talking about this Parsha and how it affected my yoga practice and how I structured a class to kind of incorporate the lessons in this week's Parsha. So without further ado, the summary, a quick summary of the Parsha. So in the Sinai Desert, God says to conduct a census of the 12 tribes of Israel and each tribe has its own leader and its own flag with its own tribal color and its own emblem each one. So that's a lot of different things. They all have their own thing. So each tribe also had individual roles, not just all of these individual symbols. So do you have an individual role? You can stop and pause the video and think for a second. Think about your job, your family, your community, any group or endeavor to which a group endeavor. Think about your individual role or just your place in this world, even if you don't know it yet. You do have a purpose and a role. <laughs> okay, so you probably feel or have felt at some point that you had your purpose or role. If every member or part of a group was trying to do the same role, that wouldn't be so productive. I'm sure we all have experiences like that. We're empowered to tackle and transform our best, our personal best into something that can add to the unity of a group or the group's goal. What we need is faith, a positive attitude, and a purpose to persevere. So observe yourself in your life and in your movement practice. In psychology, this mind watches itself is known as metacognition, or more casually, self-awareness. Being united with one heart doesn't mean being the same. It means contributing our unique oneness. Become your personal best. So here's a mantra that you can use in your meditation, or if you try out this week's class video, you can think about it through the class or in Shavasana at the end. You are counted and needed just because you are here. Most of us like to express our individuality, and yet, when given autonomy, many of us feel a need to belong. So how can we reconcile both of these needs? When I'm on the yoga mat, I struggle with being told what to do um, and wanting to practice my own movements. I'm usually following the video alone or in a classroom with a teacher. And through this, I gain a sense of self-awareness that I would not have gotten otherwise just by hearing someone else teach, even if I'm struggling to want to do my own thing. Um, I'll sometimes adapt what I'm being told to do. That's how I deal with it. <laughs> but take this knowledge and turn it into wisdom. That is noticing the difference between knowing lots and lots of stuff and understanding how your mind uses that stuff. Sometimes I come up with my own movements as I go along, but I use the guidance of the instructor, what I just said, to notice how I feel in poses that I may not have tried or even progressed to on my own. So, yes. Unity in diversity. So taking what other teachers do, maybe you're watching someone else in the class and you see them progress to a different pose from some other pose. Um, let's see, for example, like a low lunge to the side. Once I saw someone lift their leg up and hold it up like this or bring it back behind them, that may not make sense, but <laughs> I'm sure everyone's experienced it in a class. You just see someone and you're like, how did they get there? I didn't know that you could move from this pose, from that pose, and just pulling together all sorts of different knowledge and then turning inward and thinking about how we use that in ourselves. So this week's class, I kind of take poses that align with the different chakras and sequence them into the class so that we're kind of taking the diverse purposes of each of the chakras, all necessary things that we need for a good life, and pulling it all together and 
hopefully by the end of the class, feeling lit up, totally integrated, ready to tackle life's challenges. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check out the blog, go try out the class. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, if you try it out, I would love to hear your feedback. Um, yes, you can find me on Instagram. The link will be in the bio. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you get notifications for class videos like these and don't miss out and hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much.